I'm so glad you could join us, uh, Robin and, and Morris. Let's start with Saturday Night Fever, Robin. Looking back at that period, what are your memories? Robin. He won't speak to you. I'm sorry? He won't speak to you. When Mother went out, she always left me in charge. He won't speak to you without my permission. And neither will number three. What, you mean Morris? Well, I think that's how you know him. Right, well, that's not really fair, is it? Because we have come to interview you all. Of course it's fair. I'm the older brother by ten months. And Mother left me in charge. He's right, Jamie. Silence number three! We have a system. When I clap my hands twice, number three will speak. Thrice claps, and he will stop. Like so. We grew up in Keppel Road, and we were always getting into scrapes, and we were actually asked to leave. You see? What about Robin? When it's Robin's turn to speak, I blow the whistle. Like so. And then one morning, out of the blue, Robert Stigwood called and asked if we would like to record the soundtrack for a little... And two blows for stop. I dare say you had a similar system in your own family, Jamie? No, we were kind of encouraged to speak when we wanted to, really. That explains a lot. No, our system works for us. I hear tell the Nolans operate a system of weights and pulleys, and that works for them. Five Star, on the other hand, use a knife. Whoever has the knife can speak. If you wish to speak, you must wrestle the knife off your sibling. And I suppose the Osmonds have a whip. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. They use voodoo mind control. Now, after Saturday Night Fever, you starred in a truly abysmal, some might even say offensive and certainly unwatchable, ill-conceived film interpretation of Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band. How did you find applying the distinctive BG sound to Beatles songs. And which BG is this a question to? Uh, Morris. Number three. Well, the BG sound is about harmony and the Beatles sound is about melody. So I think... Right, moving on. No, I, don't, I don't think Morris had quite finished. Oh, can, can you make him speak? And then oh, one morning out of the blue, Robert Stigwood called to ask us if we would like to record the music for a little motor. Then oh, yes. We, we've always... Okay, okay, now they're both talking because it's family. Oh, Everybody shut off! off! Maybe the system doesn't work. The system worked perfectly well for 35 years, Jamie. You're the tosser, mate. Maybe I should devise a system for you. Hmm, let me think. Right. When I knock twice, you may speak. Five knocks, and you will stop. Look, I'm sorry, this is stupid. We can't do an interview like that, can we? That was four knocks, so what does that mean? <laughs> One knock, what do I do? Add them to the ones that you've just done before? Ah, uh, it's ten knocks now. <laughs> think you're a pretty smart character, don't you? Don't you? See, I can't say anything until you knock. No, you, you've, you've already knocked. So. That was six times... Minus one! Minus one, what does that mean? Shut up! You'd better watch it, friend. I'll have you up those stairs before you can say Jack Spratt. <laughs>